Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. Something which has been cropping up in conversation between developers on Star Citizen is player housing and the potential of populating planets within the verse. A question was recently asked regarding settling down on a planet in the middle of nowhere and starting up a little farm and living your days out in solitude. And the answer to this question was definitely. However, the chance of nobody finding you and living in complete solitude is not 100% likely. Now, when the possibility of players building homesteads was first brought up early on in Star Citizen's development, Chris Roberts said that it would be something that they could do, but it would be way down the line, and he could not say any more on this. With the creation of this new building tools allowing designers to quickly populate planets using these unique, sort of pre-designed modular assets, the possibility of players doing the same is becoming a reality. Of course, we can't expect this to be tomorrow, next week, next month, probably not even within the next year, but the light is at the end of the tunnel. Today, I would like to delve into what we can expect to see when the option to habitate a planet finally arrives. So what all this means is that as a player, we will eventually be able to create a home or a base on planets within the burst where we can live or operate from. Now, not every planet can be populated. Some have dangerous atmospheres. Others may be in Vandul space, and some planets are even protected by the UEE and not officially deemed visitable. But the amount of planets there will be will be huge. Uh, I don't know exactly how many planets there are in Star Citizen which can be populated. However, these planets will vary greatly in atmosphere and landscape from things like rocky planets to barren planets, mountainous or forest planets, and even ice giant planets. Not to mention that these planets are not all going to be the same thing all over. Many have different biomes spread across the surfaces like we saw in Layer 3 during the Homestead demo. This means that if you want to live deep within a, a forest or a rainforest or on the top of a mountain, you can. And also, if you want to just stay in a, an Arctic-style tundra, you can. There's so many options. Now, the way it works is, I think the method that Star Citizen are using to populate these planets quickly is to design a set of modular building asset pieces which can be slotted together and swapped out. These small modular bases or outposts are for planets, and we've seen these coming with uh, 3.0. We've seen some concept arts as well plus recent images of buildings planet side. They're all modular, so you can switch the building pieces in and out for whatever's needed. So each building piece will, could, you know, maybe unique for each purpose. You can have power generator shields, defensive systems, laboratories, storage units, farms, corridors. The exteriors are all generally the same, but the interiors are modular, allowing you to swap them for whatever you want within each room. Now, the first small outpost we will see may have various gameplay involved with each. Some will be occupied by NPCs, some may have missions requiring you to access them or explore them, and some may just be occupied by aliens. I don't think we will be able to claim these and occupy them for the first iteration of 3.0. Not officially, anyway. I mean, you can obviously squat in these places, I guess. However, in the future, when player base building is available, there will be things like fighting to try and take them over, as we know with space stations and so forth but we'll talk about defending them later. Now with these modular buildings, we will be able to use a similar method I expect to the designers, but maybe a more user-friendly version of the software and tools that they have to erect them where we please. I would think in order to start crafting these pieces, we will need to collect the appropriate amount of material. So things like scrap metals or electronics. And then once you have enough, you could create maybe a prefab layout of what you want. We don't know how far they want to take it. Do we need to have particular tools with these buildings or maybe build it wall by wall like in games like Fallout? Like ships though, buildings will need to be connected together and you'll be able to add things like power plants and link them all up together. Again, a bit like Fallout and just sort of make sure that they all work together as, as a unit. Now, when it comes to actually building, I do hope it'll be more a case of choosing maybe a type of wall, a door, or a roof from a catalogue of styles which you have collected or brought throughout the verse, provided you have the correct building materials. It would be nice to see it if it's sort of more like Skyrim, in which you need to appropriate tools and craft these at certain items physically. Similar to what we have seen with the, uh, the repair mechanic, mixing materials and then physically applying them in, in some way. That would be very exciting. And it would be great to see friends populating areas together and creating these settlements, which over time, as, as more people, more friends join, will expand these settlements and create villages or towns. And I don't see any reason why, after a certain amount of time has passed, these settlements can't become vast cities, which just seem to spread out and out and actually fully populate planets. Now, don't forget, buildings can not only be used for living. If you find an area with a wealth of minerals, extracting those minerals thoroughly can take maybe a long, quite a long time. So as, a, as an org, 
perhaps creating a small outpost for you and your friends to spawn in and out of uh, with a couple of misc prospectors maybe hooked up to fuel storage buildings or in garage style buildings would make it so much more convenient and allow for the extraction to be more productive. But when it comes to industry, buildings can be used for storage, laboratories, even setting up your own shops and, or salvage yards perhaps. Using a warehouse to store salvage chip holes, weapons or components so that they can persist on the planet and then people will pop down, check out your goods and maybe buy or sell things. Now when it comes to the scale of these planets, it does mean that there will be more than enough space to establish a homestead or industrial operation far from anyone else. Consider that there are six to seven billion people on our planet. There is still vast areas unpopulated and untouched by humans. Now with planets in the verse, multiply that by say 50 and realize that there's only currently less than 2 million players. So there will be no end of places to populate and playing solo living in a remote planet on the fringes of the verse can be done but also it's going to be great for org play allowing you and others to establish an empire or even just a clubhouse for your orgs to, to hang out at. Personally I would love to see the need to initially buy blueprints uh, of the structures that you want. Now this can be things like building type, material type, but also things like architectural style. We know the locations on each planet or area of the verse will differ drastically in style and architecture, like for example the Meta Baroque style, which flooded across the UEE systems in the 28th century, or maybe even a frontier style found out in the fringes of space. This would encourage players to travel in order to obtain the particular style they want. I'd also like it to maybe have shops dedicated to base building, so hardware stores selling the materials you need. You'll, you know, it'll be more expensive than mining or finding the materials yourself, but handy if you've forgotten something and quickly need to pop to a, to a location to pick something up. But also things like building organizations, so they could become a thing. With players who are particularly adept at base building, you could hire people who could be architects to design the layout for you. Because I'm not that creative when it comes to base building. I just, I tend to go more practical than aesthetically pleasing. Uh, so you could have architects who keep the practical and the aesthetically pleasing, design the layout, you pay them as an org, and then others will help construct the bases or houses much quicker than you could on your own or with a couple of friends. That's just my two cents anyway. But when it comes to defending your homesteads or operations, some issues will arise when you consider security for your bases or outposts. Provided the bases persist, this is which they should, while you're not logged in, other players can find them and try and break in or just destroy them. So I hope to see some form of law enforcement which can respond to an automated burglar alarm or even an organization, again, who could maybe be a quick response service like you see in some of the posh areas of, of, uh, of America, using burglar alarms, sending a notification to an org's office who can just respond as a unit and protect these homesteads or businesses. But also maybe you can install turrets or defensive systems. Obviously locking doors will be a thing eventually. The possibilities are really endless. But anyway, the, the thought of this alone gets the mind drifting off let alone the actual application when that finally arrives. I'm so, so excited to be talking about this as a reality coming up sometime soon. Um, give me your thoughts, guys. Uh, what are you most excited about in terms of base building? I'd love to hear it. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Much appreciated. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Really, really helps me out, guys. Follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I shall see you next time.